Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another episode of Point Rock Review. Uh, two beers that uh, I kind of just bought in a more like a bargain shelf and uh, first one I got is UFO boarding pass IPA the can drove me to it cuz it's like that's a cheap looking can honestly and I looked at it close and it's a boarding pass IPA I thought that's quite odd but it's a fresh and juicy tropical IPA 5.3 percent alcohol by volume, 35 IBUs. This is hops, Azaka, Amarillo, and Sultana. Am I saying those right? Flavor Adventure, Departing Dally. It's one of the stamps they have on there. Boston, Massachusetts, Windsor, Vermont, employee owned. Um, I've had a, a couple UFO beers in the past. Um, I don't really think uh, I was really big on them, but. Uh, I wasn't a huge IPA fan at the time. So uh, today I wouldn't mind going back and trying them again. I mean, I'm still not your biggest IPA fan. And that's definitely an IPA. I'm not gonna be pouring this into a glass at all. I'm just gonna be taking it right from the can. So let's do it. Wow, oh wow. Alright, it's, it's definitely got the IPA smell to it, but in the taste, it's like uh, at first you're expecting this great big wave of IPA. And then it's like the citrus comes in. I can't get over how smooth that is for being an IPA. That's uh, That's really interesting. It's got some kind of like a... Uh, is that passion fruit? There's definitely like a little bit of like tangerine or something there on the back end. It's like the IPA is trying to make its presence known, or is it just a mixture of the hops that's actually bringing about that flavor? If it is, I gotta find me them hop, those hops, when I start brewing my own beer because... Wow. Oh wait, never mind. There is something written here. Fruit. Raspberry, strawberry, and passion fruit. It, you had a really look on there to see that, my friends. Next beer is, well, is one a little a little bit of a different one. When I saw this on the shelf, I instantly grabbed it without really know, knowing what I was grabbing. Uh, a limited edition of Sierra Nevada. It's a 40th hoppy anniversary ale. I just filmed a few videos of uh, Sierra Nevada that uh, maybe I'll throw up next week. Um, I have them edited. So uh, maybe I should just throw those up to get them out of the way. But uh, this was not part of that at all. And uh, when I happened to see this, I was like, yeah, I've got to try that because I did those. Oh, there's a story on the back of this. Hop forward beers aren't popular when we started brewing in 1980, but we loved them. And we knew that if we were going to open a brewery, we better make something distinctive. It's been 40 years since then, and we're still brewing what we love. This beer showcases the bold flavors and aromas of a classic West Coast IPA. Intense pine and citrus with a deep gold color and slight caramel sweetness. Here's to following your passion and to the next 40 years. 60% alcohol by volume, but Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Definitely smells like a, uh, an IPA. So, Sierra Nevada. Um, Happy anniversary, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to trying this. That tastes kind of dark. I'm getting the citrus, I'm not really getting much pine. It's very citrusy. Um, I could taste some of the hops. The alcohol is quite prevalent. You can tell you're drinking a 6.0 beer. Um, I really don't know what else to really say about it. 
Okay, well, first one we tried was the UFO Boarding Pass IPA. Fresh and Juicy Tropical IPA. This one blew my friggin' mind. I was expecting something to be overly IPA, quite harshy, just a, an all-out an IPA. This is going to be the IPA to end all IPAs. This is going to knock you the hell out. Well, I don't know if it would go that far because it's only 5.3, but I kind of figured it would have something, it would pack a, like a wallop. In this one, it's smooth and it's 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 got like this odd, not really sweet, but kind of like a sweetness going on back there. And it's fruit juicy, it's... Uh, this one just really surprised me. This one blew my friggin' mind. And not only that, but I would buy this again. I, I would, I, if I ever went anywhere and I saw they have UFO boarding pass IPA on tap, damn it, I gotta get me one of them. This one, I can't go the full five, but I am definitely gonna go 4.5. This was amazing. Definitely find this, try it. If you've had this, let me know what you think. Because I thought this was really different. And the next one we did was the 40th anniversary, which I'm still trying to drink, of Sierra Nevada. The Hoppy Anniversary Sale. Or Hep Sale. Hoppy Anniversary L. I swear I've only had one and a half. But, uh... This one is kind of harsh. This one, uh, this one is kind of more of what I thought that one was going to taste like. And, um, although maybe not all out harshness, but, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's one definitely to try. If you're a Sierra Nevada fan, maybe, maybe you'll like it. Who knows? But, uh, Definitely, I would definitely buy it for the bottle. If you're one of those that collect uh, rare beer bottles, I think this is probably going to be uh, one of those milestone ones if you're into Sierra Nevada. And, uh, yeah. uh other than that, I. If they said they were going to repackage this type of beer in a different packaging and just call it like Centennial Ale or whatever. Um, even though Centennial L would be 100 years, not 40. But uh, if they did something like that, I would not be buying this again. So I'm, I know they had a few bottles left where I got this from, and I'm not going to be going back to get any more. So, I would feel quite comfortable in giving this a 2. Sorry, Sierra Nevada. But, there you have it. That's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons for you to check those tickets, smack that like button, and get yourself on a plane to wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to go. Of course, now business is opening. It's probably not the smoothest idea. But I get to go back to work soon, which makes me feel it's a bittersweet thing. I want it to happen, but I don't want it to happen. But I want it to happen. I want it to happen because I like, kind of like having the money coming in, and I don't want it to happen because a I got to deal with people, and I feel like I'm gonna be wearing a mask for the rest of my life now. But uh, there you, that's it. That's all I have for this video, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Bye. I feel like a monkey from the Planet of the Apes movies. Doctor Zayas. Doctor Zayas. Ha, 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 ha.